Hey everybody, I'm here today with a super easy tutorial on testing a car battery with a multimeter. In this video, I'll be going over the basic steps to test the car battery using a multimeter like this. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet, make it very simple. So let's get right into the video. First and foremost, you want to get a multimeter and you want to set it to about 20 volts, as you can see right there. Uh, that'll allow you to measure something up and up to 20 volts um, and your battery is going to be far less than 20 volts. It should be far less than 20 volts. So you're going to set it to 20 volts. Now secondly, you want to get the probes and as you can see, you want to have the posts of your battery exposed. Um, on the red one, where it says positive, that's going to be the positive post. And on the other one, it's going to be the negative post. Now what you essentially want to do is you want to touch the red one to the red side and the black one to the, to the negative side. So the red goes on the positive, the black goes on the negative. Very simple and straightforward. What I'm going to try and do right now is I'm going to try and place my camera down over here so you can have a better view of what I'm doing. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Let's try and get the multimeter and the battery in there in one. Okay, now hopefully my camera doesn't fall over. Let's just try and set it up better. All right, here we go. So that seems like it's good to go for the most part. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to take my, uh, let's get the probes once again. So hopefully you can see this nicely. Let's, there we go, that's a little bit better. Um, I'm going to take the red probe and I'm going to place it on the positive side. So I'm literally touching it to the post, as you can see right there. I'm just touching it right to the post. Okay, you can see in the corner of the screen right there. And then I'm also going to be taking the negative, the, the black probe, and I'm going to touch it to the negative side. And as you can see right there, I'm reading at about 12.5 volts. Now what you should be getting is around 12.6 volts. I should also tell you the car should be off when you're doing this reading, okay? The car should be off. Um, and also you wanna turn the headlights on after you've turned the car off for, I don't know, about a minute, just to drain off any uh, residual load that the battery is carrying. And you should get a reading of about 12.6. It doesn't have to be exactly 12.6, but you want it to be about 12.6. Then what you wanna do is leave those probes on the battery. So leave them connected on the battery and then have a friend start the vehicle for you. So leave the probes on the battery, have a friend start the vehicle for you. And you want to see this is going to drop when the engine is cranking and you want to make sure that it stays above 10 volts. If it goes below 10 volts when the engine is cranking, it's going to be a problem. It means you're going to need new batteries sooner than you think. If it stays above 10, that means it's cranking okay. And then once the engine has started, it's going to probably jump up to about 14 volts give or take because then that means that the then that means that the alternator is charging it so that's the super easy way to test the battery get a multimeter set it up to 20 volts touch the probes to the right appropriate posts of the battery it should read about 12.6 then you want to crank the engine and make sure it stays above 10 when it's cranking and then it should jump up to about 14 once the engine has been started and that's it if you like this super easy tutorial please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today Thanks for watching.